this was the basis for all the other genetic engineering principles okay so the same thing if we apply to the diagram shown here okay that is uh, shown after two pages the same thing is happening here that so is when these two good scientists came together what happened they uh, have had the same idea and they contributed to the basic principles behind the genetic engineering that is nothing but hello friends this is vishnu here welcome to my channel tips tricks and concepts by vishnu so in this video we will be dealing with the half of biotechnology chapter the major concepts in the half of the biotechnology chapter okay so this was a video requested by one of our students so adinu munbe oru karyam kuda parayatte topic la ottu povunnathinu munbe നിങ്ങളുടെ എല്ലാവരുടെയും സജഷൻസ് ഒക്കെ കമൻസ് ഒക്കെ ഞാൻ വായിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കഴിവതിനെ എല്ലാത്തിനും ഞാൻ റിപ്ലൈ തരുന്നുണ്ട് സോ അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ എല്ലാം എഴുതി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ നിങ്ങളെ സജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ടോപ്പിക്സുകളും എല്ലാം നിങ്ങൾ ചോദിക്കുന്ന ടോപ്പിക്സ് എല്ലാം ഞാൻ എഴുതി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ അതെല്ലാം ഒന്ന് ഇത്തിരി ലേ ചിലപ്പോൾ ഇത്തിരി ലേറ്റ് ആയതായിരിക്കും ഉടനെ തന്നെ ഞാൻ കഴിവതും ചെയ്തിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ സോ ഡോൺ വറി and keep supporting guys okay also oru karyam kuda parnavote adhaayad kore kutikal aadime ende adu personal message chella topics gal choichirunnu for example cockroach pin adutha spd and f block elements അങ്ങനെയുള്ള കുറച്ച് ടോപ്പിക്കുകൾ സോ ആ ടോപ്പിക്കുകൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആർക്കെങ്കിലും വേണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് കമൻറ്റ് ചെയ്തേക്കണേ സോ അതിൻ്റെ നീഡ് അനുസരിച്ച് ഞാൻ എന്തായാലും ആ ഒരു ഓർഡർ അനുസരിച്ച് ഞാൻ എടുക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും കേട്ടോ സോ ഇനിയും നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ചാനൽ മറ്റുള്ള കുട്ടികൾക്കൊക്കെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിനൊക്കെ ഒന്ന് ഷെയർ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കാം ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗോ ടു ദ വീഡിയോ ഓക്കെ സോ ബയോടെക്നോളജി ചാപ്റ്റർ ഹൗ ആം ഐ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡീൽ ദ ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ജസ്റ്റ് ടെൻ മിനിറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ ജസ്റ്റ് വെയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സി ഓക്കെ and i will deal with all the important points to be included in biotechnology okay so first let's not waste time and go to the topic that is what is biotechnology biotechnology technology in life that is nick of using the organisms living organisms uh, animals plants etc for producing products and services which are useful for human beings okay that is biotechnology classic definition later it had many limitations and hence our european federation for biotechnology gave the new definition that is the integration of natural science with organisms parts thereof cells and molecular analogs that means which in, uh, include the enzymes various proteins etc to produce products and services okay that is the new current definition now what are the core principles behind our biotechnology we have two core principles our genetic engineering as well as maintenance of sterile environments okay so in this video the major part is our genetic engineering okay so what is this genetic engineering meant by okay genetic engineering is nothing but we are using some techniques to alter the genetic material of an organism okay okay alter a particular genetic material say a dna and introducing that dna into a host organism and changing the characteristic features of the new organism that's all okay now to deal with the other few pages let's take our stanley cohen and herbert boys experiment as the base okay so i have told you before that the introduction part or uh, that is the scientist part okay the uh, bio of the scientist is very important in all the 15 units of your plus 1 and plus 2 for your entrance exams also for board exams okay so uh i have quoted one example to regarding a previous year's question in my previous videos one of my previous videos that uh for example if you have not seen uh, those videos please go watch it and come back okay so uh what did i tell that is triple helical structure of collagen that was actually uh, asked for one of the previous years neat and that's not outside the ncert but within the ncert but within the scientist bio part okay which scientist i have told in another video please go to my channel and watch my previous videos you will get the answer okay so let's go to the topic that is herbert boyer and stanley cohen so for that what we know we must know what are the contributions of stanley cohen and herbert boyer okay so regarding boyer so herbert boyer discovered the restriction enzymes that is the molecular scissors okay he found out that these enzymes can actually cut the dna or the rna at particular places or in a specific fashion in unique fashion and thus leaving certain sticky ends that is they can be stick together that is it can be easily brought or linked together by using dna ligases okay that was his contribution 
and what did uh, Cohen uh, contribute? Cohen discovered just the plasmids, okay, and also the technique to extract the plasmid from a bacteria or any uh, organism and reintroduce or reinsert that uh, plasmid into a new organism, okay, that's all. So, when these two good scientists came together, what happened? They uh, have had the same idea and they contributed to the basic principles behind the genetic engineering. That is nothing but if a new genetic material is introduced into an organism, into a cell, then uh, it cannot uh, just replicate, it cannot just start replicating. For replication, they need an origin of replication. For that, they need some form of uh, replicating DNA, either the chromosomal DNA or extra chromosomal self-replicating, autonomous replicating DNA. That is nothing but our plasmid. Okay, so uh, hence they did the experiment. What was their experiment? First, Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen. Herbert Boyer took one uh, gene, okay, gene coding for antibiotic resistance from some DNA using a particular en restriction endonuclease enzyme, okay. And what did Cohen do? Stanley Cohen just extracted a plasmid, okay, a native plasmid of Salmonella typhimurium. That is very important. Where was the bacteria, which from which bacteria the plasmid was chosen? That is nothing but Salmonella typhimurium, okay. They extracted the plasmid, okay. Then what did they do? Herbert Boyer. It's the same restriction sign to cut the plasmid also, okay. he uh, This was a circular DNA and single circular DNA and he cut it using the same restriction sign which was used to cut the uh, antibiotic resistance coding gene, okay. And then this these were joined together by DNA ligases, okay. This antibiotic resistance gene as well as the plasmid DNA, okay. The cut uh, piece of plasmid, okay, were joined using DNA ligases. Why were they able to be joined? Because they had the same sticky ends, okay. Because they were cut using the same restriction endonuclease, okay. If only we use the same restriction endonuclease, we will get the same exact sticky ends. Because I have told you before that restriction endonuclease cuts the DNA, cuts within the DNA at specific size. So they joined it and using Cohen's principle, he just reinserted this into a new host organism that is nothing but our E. coli. And what they observed was that antibiotic resistance gene was also incorporated into the new E. coli. So we got an antibiotic resistant E. coli. Okay, this was the basis for all the other genetic engineering principles. Okay, so the same thing if we apply to the uh, diagram shown here, okay, that is uh, shown after two pages. The same thing is happening here. That is, a foreign DNA is taken and we extract the useful desirable gene from it using a particular restriction endonuclease enzyme, that is a molecular scissor, and we are taking another vector plasmid. Okay, this plasmid is nothing but for um, uh, incorporating our required gene into a host organism and also replicate within the host organism. Okay. Then only it can replicate and also go to the further generations. Then, then what happened? As I have told, this plasmid was also cut using the same restriction to replace. So they had the same uh, sticky ends and hence they could be joined by DNA ligases and hence reintroduced, okay, reinserted into a new organism, okay, new bacteria or any other organism which was of the same variety from which uh, each of these was taken. For example, our vector plasmid, okay, uh, the, in the other case was taken from Salmonella typhimurium and E. coli is also uh, almost similar okay, in structure to our salmonella typhimurium. Okay? Uh, How they are similar, they, that you will study in your MBBS courses or any other uh, further graduation courses and all. Okay? So then what uh, did they do with that cell? They just cultured that bacteria. Okay? They just cultured that E. coli and hence got a, a lot of products. Okay? A lot of products. Okay? That's how the pulse scale production of various products and services was obtained. Okay? So, now you have got the important steps regarding genetic engineering. There is nothing but first process that is uh, extracting the required or desirable gene from a particular DNA using a particular restriction to nucleus, incorporating it into a plasmid and introducing that into a host cell and also then culturing and maintenance of that gene within the Okay, that new uh, recombinant DNA. What we got here, that is the combination of this vector plasmid as well as the uh, our foreign gene. Okay, the uh, required gene. Okay, together is called as a recombinant DNA. Okay, so you have got the definition for recombinant DNA too. So this recombinant DNA is uh, maintain our new organism. That's all. Okay. So nextly, we can go to the major tools involved in our 
by technology that is our restriction enzymes okay so what are these restriction enzymes nothing but belongs to the part of nucleases okay nucleases that is nothing but hydrolases okay so there are two types of restriction enzymes exonuclease as well as endonuclease exonuclease means cuts the dna from ends and endonuclease means cuts within the dna okay so how does it cut at specific positions that is this uh, restriction endonuclease enzyme whenever they find a particular dna whenever they find a particular dna they just read through the dna read through the both the dna strands and finds a particular recognition sequence okay and that recognition sequence is often of six base pairs long okay six base pairs long and these are definite sequences for example for eco r1 you have to remember the sequence that is g a a t t c okay and regarding the property of this sequence is that it is a palindromic sequence okay that is it reads the same okay that sequence reads the same when read in the same orientation that is five prime if we read in the five prime three prime direction in one uh, strand then we can read the same uh, uh, nucleotide sequence in the other strand if we read in the same 5 prime to 3 prime sequence okay so they have inspected the strands and have found out the uh, recognition sequence then what did they do they just cut the dna okay they cut the, both the strands of the dna at specific positions between any two base pairs but not at the center so what will happen if we cut if they cut at the center they will form blunt ends okay the, uh, such restriction enzymes are also present but you need not know about it now okay now you have to know only about sharp ends okay sharp cutting ends okay that is uh, they cut between any two base pairs for example our eco r1 just cuts it in between our g and a okay so g and it cuts just between the g and a in on the two strands and hence we get two ends and these are called as the sticky ends okay why are they called as the sticky ends because they can be you can see that whenever we uh, bring them together then with the help of our ligase enzyme they can be linked together and formed entirely the same dna by the formation of hydrogen bonds okay now the naming of this restriction enzymes so for that let's take a example for example we have eco r1 okay so you have to remember that this first letter e capital e is from the genus name of the um, bacteria from which it was taken for example eco r1 is ta was taken from the bacteria e coli that is estrichia coli ry13 okay so this e comes from this e of estrichia and then the next two small letters comes from the species name of the bacteria from which it was taken that is from co okay for co of coli then what is r this capital r that is nothing but the first letter of the strain r y 13 now what is that roman numeral that is nothing but the order from which it can be isolated from that uh, bacteria okay so it is uh, it is a first enzyme that can be isolated from our e coli r y 13 bacteria that's all so that's all about the biotechnology basic principles and regarding its uh, reading the pbr322 ve uh, vector plasmids the selectable markers recombinants non recombinants etc we will deal in a new video and still if you have any doubts you can very well ask me okay so if you have understood the concepts please like this video and also subscribe the channel if you have not done so at the same time please share it with your friends okay so i will be back with new such good videos Till then, bye-bye.